y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, ladies? Oh, what's up? What's up? Y'all. Why I forgot I had a doctor's appointment. I was sitting at home. I work from home today. And we had company. Like, Adrian's parents have been here. So, in our guest room, it also serves as an office. So, anyways, long story short, I had took my stuff out of the, the guest room to work so I could, I could work downstairs. So, I had been working downstairs, and I didn't have access to my calendar. And I'm one of those people that I live by my calendar. But anyway, child, I go upstairs to get something. I don't even remember what it was. Looked at my calendar. I have a doctor's appointment today with my OBGYN. And I had to, like, drink this. I think they're doing the glucose test today for the baby or whatever and um i had to drink this a long story so anyways basically what i'm saying is i'm looking crazy i just have on some sweat skimmers the same stuff that i had on this morning when i dropped cam off of school because again i'm thinking i'm working from home and i'm not going anywhere i don't even have time to put no little edge control down for my ponytail i just left so hopefully i can make it on time and you have to wear a mask when you go in so I ain't really worried about seeing nobody that I know because I don't really know that many people up here anyway. And then I feel like it won't look too bad because I'm going to have my mask on. But yes, I know I got a whole doctor's appointment. So I see um, a regular my a regular OBGYN, which is a new OBGYN. So I've been having the same OBGYN since I moved here in this area. So like for like the last 10 years maybe. Yeah, last 10 years I had the same OBGYN. She was the same person who delivered Cam. Well, anyway, she decided that she didn't want to deliver babies anymore. anymore. She wants to like spend more time with her family and stuff like that. So when I got pregnant, I had to find another OBGYN ASAP. ASAP. This particular OBGYN that I have, she, um, I think she was like just starting out when I had Cam, but I remember her coming to the hospital like she was like the on duty doctor um when I had Kim and she was really nice and so when I called my doctor's office of course they referred me to her so then I called her office to try to get an appointment and child it took me a while to even get into her I was so paranoid because I was already afraid you know with my age or whatever and getting pregnant I was thinking something was gonna happen to the baby before I even got in with her because she is booked to visit, but she's really nice. So I see her, but um, I also see a high risk doctor because once you turn 35, you are considered advanced maternal age. And since I'm 40, then yeah, you know how that is. So I, I see, I go back and forth between the two. Now I think when I get up to 30 weeks, I will be going more often to the high risk doctor I believe but what's funny is I actually like the visits to the high risk doctor better than with my OBGYN because my OBGYN she's not the only doctor in that facility in the office it's several other doctors in there so the lobby and stuff is like really big you know just be a lot of people or whatever and I can't say that I ever feel rushed for her because I feel like she's not rushing me out but I don't know, it's just weird. When I go to the high risk doctor, the lobby and stuff is like really small. You can, she's the only doctor there, so it's not a lot of patients coming in. Every time that I've been there, I have been the only person waiting in the waiting room. And then when you go to the back, it's just really quiet. I don't know, I'll be laying back there with my eyes closed like I'm almost asleep, but um, yes, I actually prefer those because I feel like you can ask questions. Well, I don't I don't know, it just seems more low key. Let me say that, because I feel like I can ask my OBGYN questions too, but this seems more low key, but I still can't believe I forgot the whole doctor's appointment. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And then this place, it'd be so packed. Man, it'd be so hard to find a parking spot because it just be so many people. Like, I guess it's like a really popular um, building for doc like all different types of doctors. Cause I be seeing a lot of old people coming in and out too. And it's over here by the hospital, so. So that's why, but I made it. Child, I'm gonna try to park and rush in. And then I'm gonna hit y'all back.
so the doctor's visit was cool um i had to do the glucose test which is basically you have to drink this drink and then whenever you finish the drink they time it they try to time it within one hour to do the blood work to see if you have diabetes because some people can form diabetes while they're pregnant so i did that so i did the blood work of course peed in the cup weighed me and then she just listened to the heartbeat on the doppler and i asked questions and stuff like that and that was pretty much it but it just seems like it took a long time i was there a lot longer than i normally am not too bad but luckily i took off enough time from work so now i'm on my way to hobby lobby i still can't believe i look like this child make sure i put my mask and stuff on when i leave hobby lobby i'm going to the house because i look a mess and i gotta um get back to work but i'm just running into hobby lobby you know run in run out just to see the last time i was here they had they were just putting their christmas stuff out well i take that back they weren't just putting it out they had their stuff out but they didn't have everything but i want some bulbs they're probably like this big i meant to like <laughs> probably about that big um so i was looking because my tree that i have downstairs is like a whimsical tree kind of like with the candy cane theme and like other so it's, it got everything it's candy cane gingerbread whatever you want to call it but um this lady she had like two packs of the big bulbs and it was three in each pack and i was looking like where did she get those from so i asked her and she told me where she got them from and i went and it was nothing left not that looked like what she looked like it was one pack of ones that i think had stripes on them instead of the polka dots i just went ahead and got them because they were red white and green but that wasn't exactly what i wanted i would have preferred to get the ones with the polka dots so i'm gonna just i have like an hour before i have to start back work so i'm gonna just um run in hobby lobby and look for those bulbs and then i go to the house go to Asaha. Y'all, it don't make no sense for it to be this packed. I don't know if y'all can see all these cars at Hobby Lobby. I guess I came on the wrong day. It looks like what I was looking for is gone. They don't switched around, but like a lot of stuff is gone. Okay, so this was the section. It was like the red and white section and the red, white, and green. But as y'all can see, everything is gone. They have some stuff over here, but it was bulbs on this side. And I don't see any. Okay. Tonight is pizza night. Boo, you want to say hey? What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey, right, right, right. It's always funny when people you ask people if they want to say hey and then they throw up the pizza. <laughs> Why do we do that? I don't know. Boo, you just randomly did that. Okay, let's look at the pizza. expression. So you going to throw up the pizza on every time? Yeah. <laughs> you can just say hey. Yeah. Oh. Right. You funny. Oh. I guess we'll split the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> how do you think it worked then? I got so. good so cold water. I don't know if I have a waste of piece of uh It's not hot? Oh no. Then they just I got the oven on, put maybe two pieces in. Ooh, do I want a, I want a big piece. Let me get this piece right here. Ooh, it looks so good. You must went somewhere. Oh. I need to go to, where y'all be watching y'all Christmas movies? 
I think I saw Tony Braxton say something about she had a Christmas movie coming out. I need to look, I guess, on Lifetime, on TV One, and it seemed like it was somewhere else where they were doing Christmas movies. But I just want to get a printout so I can go on and just, you know, get more into the Christmas spirit. I feel like people think I'm not in the Christmas spirit because I don't have my tree up. But I am very much so in the Christmas spirit. But I just... <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just can't... I can't get it together, child. I can't get it together. But I'm going to do better. But, um... Yes, I think that's about it for this vlog. So I'm going to close it out. I'm going to check some more emails on my phone. And go to bed. Cam is already asleep. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, my baby knocked out. So, um... I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.